we're going to start by marking the lids and drilling some 3 8 inch holes in the lids of these quart size masonry jars. Here we are, we're trimming some 3 8 inch copper pipe to make the inlet and outlet of our filter system. We're using a two jar filter system. The first jar will be a water filter. The second jar will be a material filter. And for this, we've chosen sawdust. In order to get a tight seal that isn't going to leak any of our syngas once we start producing, we're going to be using solder to sweat all of the joints and seal everything. And now we're going to do the exact same thing to the lid on our combustion chamber. This is where the pyrolysis is going to take place. Inside the combustion chamber, we've got about a pound and a half of wood material that we're going to be using. And this is what our almost finished gasifier is going to look like. On the right, we have the combustion chamber, and it's going to feed in via a condenser coil into our first quart size jug that is our first stage filter, and it's going to be a water filter to trap tar and other liquid materials from the smoke. And it is going to feed into the second stage filter, which in this case we're using sawdust. At this point, we've laid out our gasifier and we've ignited our coals. We're using a hardwood coal mixed with coke as well as some carbonous material to reach temperatures. We're now at about 400 degrees. As you can see, we have a small pinhole leak in our combustion chamber, which I'm highlighting there. If you look to the left, you'll start to see some bubbles in our first stage filter forming as well as some smoke from our first stage filter into our second stage filter and here's our first attempt at igniting the syngas using a non-contact thermometer we've now reached about 800 degrees Fahrenheit you can start to see the tar forming there, as well as the bubbling and percolating in our first stage filter. There's quite a bit of gas that's being collected in our second stage filter. And we're going to make an attempt to ignite the syngas. We don't have quite enough stored up in our second stage filter to keep ignition. Here we are about five minutes later and we now have enough syngas stored in our second stage filter that we're getting a good burn off of it. This syngas that we're using can be captured and stored, or as I've done in the past, I've piped it directly into a small motor engine and actually run the engine. On a previous gasifier, I ran a lawnmower engine, and this gasifier, at some point, I will hook up to a 25cc weed eater engine to see if it uh, can generate power.
and we're still generating syngas that has been burning for 20 minutes with no relights. That pinhole leak that we had is pretty much self-sealed itself. You can see the percolating in our first stage filter. Here we are at the end of our run. That first stage filter has collected quite a bit of tar and other uh, toxic material. Our second stage filter, you can start to see the condensation as well as some particulate matter. And our flame is just about out. When we open that combustion chamber tomorrow, we're going to have quite a bit of biochar. It'll be great for use in our gardens.